Hello, and welcome to your fleet management job preview. I'm Joe Gustafson, non-driver recruiting and staffing manager for Team Rail. I'm excited to connect with you today to talk about rail transport and how you make a difference on Team Rail as a fleet manager. Rail Transport was founded over 55 years ago in 1962 with a single driver, our founder, Everett Rail. Today, we are a multimodal carrier offering dry van, flatbed and specialized, and refrigerated services to our customers. We have earned hundreds of awards over the years. Of all of the recognition that we have earned, our most notable accomplishment is earning the President's Award from the American Trucking Associations, also known as the ATA. The ATA is the industry's largest trade organization and the President's Award is the highest honor in trucking. We are a recognized leader and innovator in the industry. As a fleet manager, you play a critical role in our ability to continue to be leaders in the industry and you are central to the effective operation of our business. In this role, you are responsible for managing the daily performance of 35 to 45 drivers. To help you evaluate your success and help you meet performance expectations, we provide you with a monthly scorecard called the Red Express. The Red Express measures your fleet's performance in the areas of productivity, retention, safety, and service. Everything you do as a fleet manager is aligned to these four metrics. Make sure our drivers are productive, make sure they're delivering on time, make sure they're not having accidents, and make sure they're staying with our company. Really, your job as the fleet manager is to bolster those drivers to meet the tasks and the daily needs that we ask of them. I make sure that they always have a dispatch. They're not sitting there being underutilized. I make sure that they are tracking on time, that if they aren't, that I can assist them and get either a different driver under the load or getting the appointment time changed so then that they are still able to keep moving and not get hung up on a load all day without making any money. Multiple factors play a foundational role in your ability to achieve our expectations in our Red Express scorecard. One of the most important factors is building strong relationships with your drivers. <laughs> building relationships is challenging in any environment. The challenge is greater in our industry since your drivers, they're over the road not being able to sit down and look them in the eye and read their body language as they're talking and going, okay, well, I'm not gonna go down this avenue because I can see I'm not getting through to you, so I'm gonna turn the corner over here. You know, it's sitting on the phone, saying something and going, I hope I'm coming across right, <laughs> you know? Whatever issue they have, you're gonna get it taken care of for them. That's that trust factor for the drivers, and that's how you retain a driver. You know what they need, and you're gonna do everything that you can to get that done for them really dive into what they value most and what's most important in their life and really what they're doing this job for. I think the best way to keep my drivers happy is to always be honest with them. And really care and show them that we care. There's always something that gets thrown at you that's a challenge. It's your responsibility to figure out how do I overcome that challenge. We have such a strong team here at Team Rail that no matter who you go to, they're gonna support you, they're gonna have your back and they're gonna help you through that situation no matter what it is. Connect with your drivers and keep them moving. Another factor in achieving our expectations is your ability to coach, develop, and inspire your drivers. Your performance here shows up primarily in two areas, safety and productivity. First of all, before you even go into coaching, getting to know your drivers and knowing how to connect with each of your drivers, and then taking that coaching piece and saying, okay, how can I make this real to you? And how can I make this so that this is important to you? How can I show you how important this is? You know, Not just to me and to the company, but to your future, your safety, and to the people around you. There's a lot of reports that we have here at RAIL, and you will have access to those on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, so that you and your leader can sit down and take a look at them and take a look at past trends that are probably pretty good 
indication of future trends, and then figure out ways to improve upon any of the lower metrics. So if you are underperforming in productivity, it's probably not across your entire 40 truck fleet. There's probably a few people that you need to work with to, to get them up to speed and help out that metric. It's important to tell them when they're doing things right as well. Give them that confidence boost that you know they're doing something right and you're recognizing that. We don't want to be a safety issue by calling them while they're driving and be that distraction. So it's trying to find a moment that the driver has time to have that conversation because you can't just call them or pull them aside at any moment. Showing them that you value them as a person and as a driver, that you want them out there being safe, not just because it's the railway to do things, but because you really value their safety and them getting home safe to their families. Coaching a driver to be safe allows everybody else on the roadways to be safe with them, uh, ensure that everybody that shares that space gets home safe to their family. Safety is, is seeped into everything, every action, every move. They value my safety and the safety of those around me so that I can go back home to my family at the end of the week or two weeks or however long I'm out. And there's a huge satisfaction when you go home and you've put in a hard day's work and this driver has been successful, they've ran good miles, they've had no accidents. You get to share in that reward with them. In addition to leading your drivers, you have the opportunity for cross-team collaboration. You will work closely with team members in maintenance, safety, orientation, and driver pay services. The stronger and the more cohesive those units operate, the better rail functions as a whole, and our drivers and us see we reap those benefits and those returns. You work closest with your team members in customer service. They book freight and plan the freight on your drivers. Our customer service team doesn't talk to our drivers, that's us. We talk to the drivers and then we talk to customer service. We get to bring the driver's needs and say, hey, my driver needs this, my driver's clock looks like this. And customer service brings the customer's needs and says that my customer needs this and we get to put those puzzle pieces together, line everything up right. Collaborating with customer service is really essential to being a fleet manager. It's really important for them to know if a driver is going to be late or they're going to be early. If a driver were to be late and customer service doesn't know about it, it can result in lost hours, lost productivity, which is lost money for that driver. As long as everyone knows what the situation is and knows what's going on, productivity is going to flourish. We all work together and help each other out to deliver confidence and satisfaction to our customers. If you think this is a big role, with huge responsibility and impact, you're right. The good news is that we support your immediate and long-term success with extensive education and professional development programs. In preparing you for your role as a fleet manager, you will spend your first six to nine months as a fleet support coordinator. My training when I came into this industry was the one thing that I was the most nervous about and the most scared with because I knew nothing about the trucking industry. My background was in retail and all I knew is semis carried stuff and that was it. I personally pushed myself quite a bit or I was pretty pretty stressed out at times but I definitely am really thankful that I had the teammates I did have that wouldn't let me just out in the middle of nowhere to sink or swim. So that was one of the most important things for me when it came to the training process. The knowledge doors are wide open in this company. So all you have to say is, you know, I really have no idea what you're talking about here. I don't know what this is, you know, and somebody will explain it to you. You know, I felt like I was under everybody's wing going through the training program. So it was amazing. Coming into the transportation industry and having no experience, the most nerve wracking thing was how am I supposed to manage Truck drivers, I don't talk to truck drivers on a regular basis, and I don't know any truck drivers. I've never been a truck driver, so going into a field to be a manager in, a, in an industry where I have no expertise was the most nerve-wracking thing, but Rail gave me all the training I need, so. We're gonna teach you all of the, the fundamentals of transportation. Further, we're gonna have you work closely with a very experienced fleet manager trainer that's been very successful in the role and they're going to help guide you along through our process to learn everything from our software to how to talk to drivers, to how to coach drivers, anything that 
you will need as a tool in the future to be successful. At the later part of the training, you will actually run that fleet manager's drivers, you'll interact with them, you'll have phone calls with them, you'll help coach them to be successful. And then during that process, we'll also provide you the feedback of how successful you've been and other opportunities where you can grow and fine tune your skills to be a successful fleet manager. And we give you all that knowledge and experience that you're gonna need so that you can be successful here at Rail Transport. It will test you, it will push you, and it will bring out the absolute best in you. There's always someone there, you're never truly on your own. You can ask anybody a question. If they don't have an answer, they're going to tell you, I don't have the answer, but you know who will? So-and-so is going to have the answer. We're here to help you. We want you to be successful once you get here. And you're really taking the time and thoroughly learning everything that you're going to need to know during that time period. So when you do move up, you are fully prepared. You know what's going to happen. You know what to expect. And there's going to be curveballs all the time. There always is in every single job. But that fleet support coordinator training really prepares you well for when you do become a fleet manager. Every situation that you're gonna run into is so unique and so specific. You're not going to be able to be trained on every single situation. You're going to want to ask questions. You're going to need to reach out. And I will absolutely ask me, I'm there for you. I want new fleet managers coming into the organization to be hungry. I want them to be ready to take on a new challenge. I want them to use their previous experience and their knowledge to help us be better tomorrow than we were today. You're going to get world-class training in the transportation industry. There will be a day it clicks, and when it does, it's a great feeling. I'm excited to continue to walk through this journey of discovery with you, and I look forward to exploring more about your opportunity to make a difference on Team Rail. Look around you, look at what you're wearing, everything came on a truck. And so that job security is there, that's certainly a valuable aspect when you think about this industry. The fact that we are keeping the economy moving with our fleet is, is a pretty noble thing. And then at an even higher level than that is the fact that we are keeping our roadways safer, one professionally trained driver at a time and one professionally trained leader like yourself that's managing those, that group of drivers. If you want an opportunity to make an impact on people's lives, the safety of our roadways, our economy as a whole, and how, how well our country does. This is a great position that you can dig in, get to know a lot of great people, and really make an influence. If you are, you know, that, that go-to person that you have to succeed, you have to overcome objections and obstacles and transportation's right up your alley. You know, if you have safety as a value, if you have you know, that type of mindset, then transportation is for you. My fleet manager answers the questions that I can't and does a great job, and it makes me a better driver. Come in and make rail your ideal job.